tip top of the day here, folks. Happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. It's me, Jerry. I'm doing a little bit of offline work. We're at the VA park, yes. I'll admit to that. I'm going to show you a little bit. There are things that you've seen me many times. But there's a point to this video. There's a point to this video. Be, be Memorial Day and all that. That and it, how appropriate to be in a VA park, Veterans Memorial Park, to um, as we should be like this on this particular kind of day. <laughs> uh, we're uh, pretty much looking at a video right now, and um, things are pretty much stressing right now. And um, here's one of the things coming up that. I want to get on video real quick, quick, and I'm um, trying to get into a right position so I can get it, get it just right on this video. Um, but there is a reason behind this video, so basically, yo, we're coming up on the uh, Veterans Nursing Home. Now I do realize that you. Well, I can't see it because a lot of the trees growing up and stuff like that. But that's it. Right there is the VA nursing home. Home and uh, as soon as we get some tree climbing here. Look, sorry for the trees. But this is the veterans nursing home. Right here, as you can probably see. If you can't really see, I'm sorry because of the trees and everything. Dang, I think I turned this camera a little bit too early. Ah, we're coming up on a spot now. Oh, well we can I hope get a good view of this place. Ah yes, here it is. This is the West Virginia Veterans Nursing Home. Which is right here in Clarksburg, West Virginia, USA. But the point the point I'm trying to make I'm trying to make make of this video and there is a point ladies and gentlemen today's Memorial Day today's when we honor veterans who have passed away and I know for a fact that this day is a very important day for them they remember their fallen comrades like my dad, for example. Example, and a few other people I know. Um, like I said before, it's just very interesting that we're doing this. But the reason why we're doing it is because of the veterans. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll be back out here for Veterans Day, don't get me wrong. But, you know, to honor those who have passed away who... Gave them the ultimate sacrifice for veterans. You know, that's what Memorial Day really is. Um, by the way, just for the record, the facts of this is the other side of the Veterans Memorial, Memorial uh, thing. And we're going to come up here pretty soon. To actually the VA hospital itself and we're gonna get a shot of that as soon as, as soon as we get a little bit closer to what we want but yeah you know, anyway you look at it's the VA they're really I mean I spent a lot of time with my dad in the veterans hospital which by the way there it is that's the Clarksburg VA hospital off in the background there. And I'm not sure how could you really see that. But that is the Clarksburg VA hospital in the background. Up there. And. Believe me. This is the day. Honor a veteran. This is one of two days in this country. Country you honor a veteran. Memorial Day weekend, 
Memorial Day and Veterans Day. By the way, just for the record, there's a ball field. That's one of two ball fields that this guy is umpired on. <laughs> we'll get there in a minute. But the point, I guess, I'm trying to make for the video is that. Now, I'm not sure how good you can see it, but I'm having a tough time seeing it because of the sun and all that. All that, but I hope you can see a little bit better than I can. The Veterans Memorial Hospital. You know, if it wasn't for them, wasn't for the veterans, ones who fought in all kinds of wars, everything from the Civil War on up, from Civil to the uh, Alamo and um, Korean War and um, World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Korea, Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, whatever war that you, that you or someone you know has fought in, you know, Thank them. But also remember their comrades who did not come back. That's the point I was trying to make. That's the point. That's the, that's one of that's one of the points I'm trying to make here. Um That's one of the points I'm trying to make here. Um remember those who gave their lives not only wars. But, but nowadays, like 9-11. Now I do realize for some people, I know what you're thinking. But 9-11. Think of those guys that went through on that day. Both in New York, both in D.C. And at the Pentagon in Virginia, excuse me. U.S. territories, I mentioned that. For international law and Geneva World Conventions. But, other than that, I mean, besides that, you know, but think of all the stuff these guys went through. Some of them did return. And there's the West Virginia, I don't know if you can see the background or not, but there's the West Virginia nurse, Veterans Nursing Home right next to us, the VA. Now, you know, um... And this is all being taped here in Clarksville, West Virginia, USA, for International Law and for Virginia Rural Conventions. But you know, the point I've been trying to make through this whole video, video is this. Make a point, stop on Memorial Day to your local cemetery. Or, if you know veterans that are still alive, thank them too. Because you know, Memorial Day is just more than that. Memorial Day is also for our fallen heroes of fire rescue. That's the way Congress says it's going to be. And, you know, I respect that. After 9-11, why not? By the way, just for the record, the other baseball field that I've done some work on in the past. Pretty big field, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... By the way, we're on the back side of the VA trail. Just want to bring up, this one to bring up that donation too. To, to look this up on the YouTube uh, channel, I guess you could say, Happy Memorial Day. A walk in the VA park, Clarksburg, West Virginia, USA. Um, pretty much ever since I tied this in with a tablet, I've been able to put a little bit longer uh, lines on um, on the uh, video uh, on the video line. But yeah, I often say that life is way good, and thanks to them, thanks to them defending that the American flag. 
Thanks to our veterans who defended the American flag. It was, it, it, it's always been sort of, it, it's kind of a thing that we're, where we have freedom today. You know, it seems kind of crazy that life sometimes can be a real off the wall type situation. And life sometimes can be a real discretionary. But we're going to sit down here for a couple minutes. It's what we have in mind here. Uh, this is usually one of my benches I usually like to sit at. I'll show the bench. Just and me sitting on it. <laughs> but what's kind of important here is this. Take the time of the day to honor or take the time of the day to honor veterans. And don't forget to do it in November. But I think two holidays I think personally, this is just my take on it. You ought to honor a veteran every day. Because if it wasn't for a veteran, we would not be allowed to say shoot a video like this I think a veteran should be thanked every day and that's what I try to do every time I see a veteran every time I see a veteran I salute them because that to me is just showing them, them proper respect and they don't get any respect from a lot of places oh yeah they do but they really don't because a lot of people think a lot of, there's a lot of people out there who don't think that veterans should get the recommendation the recommendation they really deserve. I know that sounds kind of like huh what, but no, in reality, that's what it is. In reality. These veterans do not get the proper respect they deserve. And I think, in my mind, that it's time to change all that. It's time to show the veterans what, it's time to show the veterans that we really appreciate everything they've done for us. Because they put their lives on the line for us. Even though, yeah, I was born in 1971 at the tail, uh, near the tail end of the uh, Vietnam War, I didn't really know what it meant. But fast forward to today, and I know a lot about the Vietnam War. I know a lot about the Korean War. I also know a lot more about Desert Storm. Because I talk to people. I've learned. A lot more than what people think I have. And. To tell you the truth. Things in this country. Are not getting any better. That's the way I think. Sorry about that. Um, I think things are getting worse. In this country. I really do believe that. But things can get better. And here's the way things can get better. If we start going to church, more people would start believing in Jesus Christ. More people would start believing in God. Maybe this country can get better. If we just learn to accept the problems that we have in this country, if we learn to do more accepting of everybody's tastes, I think we can do better. Discrimination, well, that's always going to be an issue. But, yeah, so I said that word, but, If we would put discrimination aside for about maybe 
we put discrimination aside for a little bit. Maybe we can learn um, a little bit more about ourselves. No, hear me out on this one. If we learn how to be ourselves, I mean, when you're a kid, when you're when you're little, you have no idea what discrimination really is. You think, oh, he's a nice person. Let's go over and let's go over and play with him. As you get older, and you start learning, and these some of these parents do teach kids that way, even to this day, how to learn how to dislike people. And to be honest with you, to dislike somebody, that's not right. Just like them because of for whatever reason. I'm not going to go through any of the reasons because I don't believe that way. I believe everybody is equal. Really do. And I strongly believe that. And that's just that's how I am. Equal in every step of the word. You know. You know, I have to agree with what our what Duff Street's pastor said the other day, Tim Kelly. And I'm going to quote a Bible verse here. I wasn't planning to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Anyway, what happened on my mom will quote two verses. John 3.16, John 3.17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. Now I know this video is going to get covered by a few of Bible things here. <laughs> but if you really think about it, John 3.16, John 3.17 tells us what to do. Tells us if I don't, because when I say them verses, and I'll say, and I'll, I'll go through this again. When I say those two verses, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son in the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. That includes everybody. That includes that includes the um, people walking that are homeless in your area. That includes the person living next door to you that is a teetotal kook against it. That includes everybody. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you can be saved. Now I know that wasn't really discretionary, but the thing is, but the point I'm trying to make here is sometimes you have to know what's going on in the world to understand the world. And that's the whole point of this video. Like I said, happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. To look this up. Uh, happy Memorial Day. Walk in, walk in the VA Park. Clarksburg, West Virginia, USA. And like I said, we're out of here. For now. Peace. Grease for peace. Aloha. We still men and women serving around the world. Our brands for the U.S. military and our veterans. Especially today, being Memorial Day. We take a very special salute to the VA hospital, the VA nursing home, and to the American flag. There's another part of the video here in a few. Um, we do want to get another set video set up here in my mind. So yes, 
look, be looking for another video be popping up here on the YouTube and Facebook channel like I said happy Memorial Day this is going to be part of it it's going to be part of the first part of the video I'm going to get this thing downloaded as fast as I can peace for now we'll talk to y'all again soon I'm out of here peace out